Holy shit, what's up with my hair? I just rolled out of bed and watched two episodes of Brynhildr in the Darkness, and it was stupid and bad and boring, and I hate it. Brynhildr in the Darkness is not necessarily a terrible show or an ugly show, it's just a boring and stupid show. It takes itself very, very, very seriously, it's always very straight-faced, the characters are always brooding, and monologuing constantly. Just altogether, I wouldn't call it very fun. And I'm not saying I demand every show to be fun, but I like it to have something engaging about it. So the premise here is that there's this guy, and he's been obsessing over this girl that died when he was a kid that was essentially his fault. And then a girl transfers into his class who looks exactly like her, and she's also a magic witch who can predict the future somehow and prevent people from dying. She's on the run from some lab that she escaped from I guess all the witches escaped the lab they were being tested on in and they're trying to live but the lab wants to catch them back I found out after watching the two episodes that this was based on a manga from the same guy who did elfin lead and now that I know that the plot is so similar that it's kind of amazing this show is definitely a lot more toned down than elfin lead is though there's no nudity or over-the-top gore there's just some very dark themes. Now, this manga artist also did a, uh, a manga called No 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 No, or something like that, which was about, like, it was like a sports manga, but like a needlessly dark and weird fucking, like, almost sadistic. This guy, the stuff he writes is weirdly, like, fucked up in a way that's not even inter- It's like he enjoys just writing about characters suffering and getting tortured. There's a scene in episode two of this show where the main characters save this lady and they're all like, yeah, we feel good because we, we managed to save this old lady. And then it cuts to a scene where the, the people in the lab have caught one of the witches and they like horrifically murder this girl. Like they eject, like she's like screaming, no, don't kill me, all this shit. And they like eject this thing from her neck and her fucking skin melts off. Like, we don't see it in graphic detail, but we see enough that it's kind of horrifying. And then it literally cuts from that to happy fun time with cake. And it seemed to show no self-awareness whatsoever that it had just done that. That kind of tone shift. There's this other witch girl who's full body paralyzed, but she talks with a little typewriter. And she's like, this... She's like a loudmouth lolly character, I guess, I don't know if she's a lolly, but she's the kind of character who would be all up in your face, except she's completely paralyzed. I don't know what to make of it. I mean, having a completely paralyzed character is kind of interesting, but so far she's not doing anything in particular. The whole show is just fucking boring and serious, and of course, I would give it more of a chance if it weren't for the fact that it also makes no fucking sense. The main character is supposed to be this, like, smart guy who is like the top in his class and everything. But all the decisions he makes are stupid. Most of it's like, oh, I was just told that I was gonna die if I go outside, but I need to go and prove to myself that what she was saying was true. It's like, but if you prove that, you'll be dead. But you know, the plot has to advance somehow, so he goes out, of course she saves him, but it's like, he keeps making decisions like that, where it's always like, they tell him, don't do this thing, and he's like, well now I have to go do that thing. Oh, what? Something horrible happened because I did that thing? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done it. The, the moment that I officially was ready to drop this show was when the main girl, she had signed up for his school, and the only reason she was there is because she wanted to save a couple people's lives, but then she said, says like you know I'd also kind of wanted to see what school was like because I've never been first of all I am so fucking sick of girls in anime who are like from some kind of weird background and they've never been to school and they're like I want to know what school's like it sucks school sucks no one enjoys school every time one of these shows happens and the girl ends up like really attached to school and she's like oh it turns out school was so much fun and it made my life better i'm like really school of all things you can't tell me that the manga author who wrote this enjoyed school that fucking much that he thought that that 
I don't know. But what bothered me wasn't just that. It's the fact that the main character guy, the first thing he learns about this girl is that she can't do multiplication, like even simple multiplication. So he was like, how the hell did you get into our school? Because apparently it's like a, a really top level school, like it's hard to get into. And this dude's like number three in the country kind of thing among all high school students. And so he finds out this girl doesn't know her multiplication tables. And then he's trying to convince her that she should come back to school. He's like, oh, you should, you know, you, cause she was saying, oh, I already did my purpose here. I don't want to go back, even though I've wanted to experience what school is like. And the main guy is like, no, you should come to school because you should have fun. But it's, you can't, you can't just do that. His school is high class. She's going to be behind. She doesn't know shit. And it makes even less sense because the whole reason she was out, she's like out in the middle of nowhere because she's trying to hide from the the lab that's trying to capture her but she's not actively on the run she's just in this little fucking little village that was supposed to be flooded out and moreover in episode two when the main character is going to the place where he eventually finds the girl a bunch of military vehicles pass by him and they've just captured one of the other witches they're coming from the direction that she's in meaning that that's the area they are searching but she's still there and the main character guy's like oh yeah you should come to school that won't make you easier to find at all like what you know <sighs> She's supposed to be on the run, and she's not intelligent. She doesn't know anything about anything. And later in the episode, she's like, they tell her to get up and read something out of the book, and she doesn't even know how to read kanji. And the main character's like, you're going to blow your cover at this rate. Yeah, no shit. Like, what's she supposed to do? How is she going to cram fucking 12 years of advanced studies b before coming back to school? What, is he, what does he think she's going to do? It's stupid, and I hate it, and it's dumb, and I dropped it, and I'm not going to watch anymore. Well, that's it.